Hello everyone, today let's talk about the benefits of using a battery pack to power a bird box camera. Well normally we use a 12 volts DC adapter to connect to a power source, which is an alternating current outlet, to power up our bird box cameras. But this is kind of difficult when sometimes because a Wi-Fi bird box camera we will want to place it somewhere remote. And then we have a, a solution for some situations, which is a 10 meter power cord extender. This is really easy to use. We just simply attach it, one to the DC adapter, one to our bird box camera. And it also has a waterproof glad here, so everything is easy to attach. But the downside is, even though sometimes 10 meters is still not enough. In this case, what should we do? Well, this is where a battery cup battery pack comes in handy. A battery pack like this, this is a seal lead battery. It provides maximum mobility. We can like attach this like two or three meters near our bird box camera and we can put our bird box camera almost every, anywhere we want. And also this work, this one here works on 12 volts power. So we don't have to worry, it will like over, overcharge or fry our bird box camera. Also, right here it says it works for, it has a output speed at 20 amps per hour, uh, every hour. So this one, we can, after calculating, we can let this power up a bird box camera for around five days. Uh, we can show you guys the math in our next video. And then if we connect it properly, we will have no trouble of doing it. And with this battery pack, you can see it has two posts one here, one here. These are how the battery, how the power in, within here comes out. And you can see there is a plus and minus here. So this is a minus, this is a negative post, this is the positive post. When we connect this to one of our bird box cameras or any devices, we need to use uh, power wires with core or with clamps on them. And universally, the red clamp always goes to the positive post and the black clamp always goes to the negative post. And luckily on this battery we have the post color coded so we know which color to go to which post. So the red clamp goes to the red positive post and the black clamp goes to the black positive post. And this power cord is about three meters and we also have a waterproof gland on it so also, you know, the battery needs to waterproof measurements as well. And after this, we first connect our, we're going to show you guys how to connect this to our bird box camera and let it work function properly. So first we disconnect the DC adapter with our bird box camera, set this aside, and then connect our bird box camera with the power cord first. This is, this is a very important step because if you sometimes connect this first, it's not really good for your device. And now we clamp the red clamp on the red positive post, make it steady, and the black clamp on the black positive post, steady as well, and then we'll wait for an image to show up. So the connection is really easy. Now, the app, and let's go to the app first, log in. And then right here, we go to add device, we choose more, and you do the AP mode connection. And you can see that we need to select need connection device. The Wi-Fi password isn't provided here as well. Now let's go and set the Wi-Fi. And now right here at the Wi-Fi, we choose our camera right here. And we insert the password, which is 1 to 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. And then we join it. This camera has internal Wi-Fi. It's like an access point now. So then we go back to our app. And it's detecting, if we don't want, now it's successfully connected. I'll stick my finger inside the bird box so you guys can see that it is a live video stream, very clear. And yeah, so it's really easy, we're connected now. We're, we're not bounded with the Wi-Fi network. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them at the section below. Uh, thank you guys for watching today. I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.